All right, I want to make another video of uh, some more tweaks I found. First off, I don't know if I went over this one in my other video, but this one, it's a lock screen. It's called Unfold. And uh, the original one, you know, you slide to unlock. And then this one makes it, uh, you know, just something cool like eye, can eye candy. Just fold it to unlock. I got it set up right now. You can also do it where it's, you know, like the original one where it goes sideways. You can change like how many times it folds like that. I got mine at six. But uh yeah, it's pretty cool. There's something different. Uh now this. I got dashboard X, which I've got widgets. I've just I don't like this layout right now, this clock, but it's something different, but I'm just I've been playing with stuff. Big thing I wanted to go over was a uh, alternative for uh the app, the tweak grid lock which does not work with iOS 6. I'm not sure if it's iOS 6 or if it's maybe the iPhone 5. I'm not sure. Maybe someone can comment and let me know. But uh, I'll go over that in another video. I'll upload it right after. But uh, you see this? I got Dashboard X. It's a little, little thing right here. And what that is, it lets you do widgets on the home screen. Which is pretty cool. There's not really too many widgets, it seems like, though. Maybe I'm not looking for the right stuff. But, uh, you know, I just got the standard weather one, like the one that's in the, up here on the notification center. And then I got a clock. thought the clock was pretty cool. Another thing you might notice is, uh, my status bar. That's different than normal. Not really sure that I like the tweak because it seems more buggy than anything. It's a cool idea. What you do, you can drag, you know, anything wherever you want in the status bar. You know, you can rearrange it as you see. But a lot of times, like, when you click it, it puts a little square around it to show that, you know, that's what you're moving. But sometimes that square just pops up on its own, and, you know, like, I'll do some, you know, turn the phone off and then turn it back on, and everything's back to normal. So, you know, I mean, it's it's cool, you know, just another little thing to make it even more like your phone. Uh, Byte SMS. I hit, don't care for the stock texting app at all, really. It's, you know, it's boring. It's just so general and plain and just non-customizable. But obviously, jailbroken, you know, you can download different colors for the message bubbles and stuff. But this one right here, I really like. I'm not going to go over it real quick because I don't need to see my text. But as you can see, you know, it's got the pictures for uh, the contacts and all that. It's just, you know, it's, it's more customizable. There's themes for it. Uh, the clock, I know I showed that in the last video. It's just a live clock icon right there. What else? Oh, uh, I have to remember what this one's called, but instead of doing the home button for the task switcher, you just drag up and it brings up the little icon down there, like when you pull up the notification center, which is nice, you know, it's less, less wear and tear on your home button. And then that one also, when you go down, instead of sliding the Instead of the notification center sliding down, it kind of just drops the home screen, which looks cool. And here's another widget I got. It's just a standard clock with a date on it. Just, you know, more things to look at, I guess. I don't like it being so plain, but I don't like the stock widgets and all that crap. Another thing with that Byte SMS, right here down in the notification center, you tap that. Hit it and there we go. And uh, send a message to whoever you want. That's cool too. And when you get a text, it pops up right here and you can reply to it without you know stopping what you're doing. Another thing with that, uh, oh, that app, it's called Zephyr. I'll put it in the description. But uh, go to the settings and show you. It's Zephyr, swipe from left and right it means it'll uh, switch your apps like going like that. Which is pretty cool, but it got really annoying. I turned that off. I like that, but I turned it off because uh, when I would go to like delete emails or whatnot, you know, sliding it, I'd go like that and I'd want to switch the app. So I just, you know, I turned that one off. But, uh, you know, you can uh, change all the different settings and all that. Uh, unfold, showed you that one. You know, change the number of slices when it folds. Fold vertically, you know, that's going up instead of sideways. Change the text on it. 
tether me. That's something everybody should have. That's just, you know, it <clears throat> it enables the uh stand, you know, the stock tethering that the iPhone has, you know, rather than paying your cell phone company an extra 30 bucks or whatever a month for data that you already have, this unlocks that feature. And uh through your carrier, it just looks like it's your phone using data, you know. They don't know that you're actually tethering, which is cool. Cuz this one uh it just it's cool because it's not like a separate app where it's you know cheesy and you know it's got a bad user interface. It's the standard, you know, standard uh, tethering right here. Brings it up right there to personal hotspot. Yeah, this one is called a range status bar. That's how you do the status bar up there. That's you know self-explanatory. Well, I think that's all my new stuff. Well, yeah, I just want to make another video and check my other videos because I'm going to make another one right now about how to get the icon layouts.